Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is known for its cheesesteaks. It may seem that there are too many to try and too many people telling you what's better than what. Today the Grab and Grub crew heads to a cheesesteak restaurant some locals swear by. Let's check it out. This is Grabbing Grub. Okay, we're at D'Alessandro's here in Philadelphia. Um, this place was recommended by a couple of people, so let's go see what this place is all about. Welcome to Grab Alright, so this is a very small diner. Uh, honestly, there's not no no room to sit inside or out. Um, I guess that's a good thing. It means people like this place, right? Or hopefully. So we're gonna do a in-car review. We're gonna go sit and eat. Or maybe we'll go to this fucking park or something and be have a picnic and be uh, be a little homoerotic. Maybe. Bitch. Mm. Tell, tell the camera what you got, bitch. Mm. Pepper Fuzz. Pretty good. Not bad. What did you get? Pepper cheese. Pepper cheese. <laughs> I mean, okay. So it's called on the menu. All right. I went with the cheesesteak. Uh, I prefer raw onions to grilled. They wanted mayo and ketchup and shit. Yeah, so this is, holy shit. Um, it smells good. Let's see. Meat could be a little saltier. It's good. Gotta be honest, what was that place we had last time we were out here? Gems? Better than Gems. Better than Gems. I'm sorry if y'all don't, do, don't agree with me, but this is better than Gems. It's pretty good. You know what Gems was? A little downtown hipster shit. That's what Gems was. Maybe a dash of salt, dash of pepper, black pepper, but. A little bit of pepper and salt. But other than that, it's pretty legit. I'll probably put this, I don't know about top five, but definitely goes in my top 10 for, for cheesesteaks. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna okay. I'm gonna trigger the comments. Ain't no Charlie's. Sorry, Charlie's is good. Okay, Philadelphia, you finally fucking did something right. I got a, a cheesesteak with onions. Very simple, they're grilled, they're not raw. That's the difference between Jay's and I's. It looks pretty good. I've the only thing I've had here before is Gino's and it was okay. It was kind of just like a tourist, you know, like oh it's the best. It's okay. So uh, let's let's give this. I'm gonna put this in my mouth. Mmm. <laughs> okay. The meat is moist. That's good. It's quality meat. They're not the best one I've ever had for a, a fully cheesesteak, but it's better than Gino so far. That's all I have to compare it to, so not bad. Not bad. What do you think? Get better as you went on? Use a little bit of salt, but it's pretty good. I know you're you're the kind of guy that like your initial reaction will be like, eh, it's all right. And then as you, you savor in it, it, it kind of gets a little bit better. So. Can you use a little bit of salt? Okay. We got that, did, did we get napkins? I got some napkins. If 
All right, so final thoughts of this uh, hood top review here. Uh, the meat was moist, the cheese was melted to perfection. Um, onions were okay, I prefer a little spicier onion, you know, red over white, what are you gonna do though? Uh, meat was a tad bland. A little salt, a little bit of pepper would have gone a long way. However, I will say we could have done that ourselves. Um, so far, best cheesesteak I've ever had in Philadelphia. Uh, not the best ever, but the food here is definitely better than the manners of the people in this town. So I think overall I'm going to give this place a seven and a half or so. Seven and a half is a good score. So yeah, come check it out. What he I mean, said. What I said. Peppers could have been a little peppery. I felt like I was just eating a, a squash. Cheese is good. Meat could have been a little salted, but I'll give give that on my own. You know, I could ask for a salt pack or two, you know. But it's also good that it wasn't too salty, you know. Sodium retains water weight. Not you know? wrong. Trying to lose some weight. You know, that's why we drank some water, you know. Cheese steaks have protein. <laughs> if there was, if there was with one. Like, with like little gluten-free options too, maybe, you know. So what do you, what score, what do you give it score-wise? Seven. Seven? Just because it's bland. Okay, seven, seven and a half. I mean, if there was one thing maybe that I would change, one major thing, it's like one size fits all basically. Uh, there's no sized options. It's just this big ass fucking sandwich. We could have been cute and split one. We could have done that. Been a cute little couple and split a sandwich, split but we didn't think about that. So Best. It was better than Jim's, which is the only one I had in Philly. Yeah. But, I mean, ain't no TGI Fridays cheesesteak. <laughs> ain't no Charlie's cheesesteak. Charlie's is better. Gotta be honest. Ain't no meat going and getting some French bread and throwing some meat together and putting a little bit of cheese, making my own. How many of y'all are getting triggered? Well, there you have it, Delisandro's, Philadelphia. Not bad. Um, so, overall, not bad. Best one I've had here in Philly. I only have one other ways to compare it to so far. There's something missing. Maybe it is the salt. Maybe it is the pepper. Maybe it's just my attitude. But overall, I think this is a solid. It's like a. It's a, like a solid seven. It's like at that seven mark where it's it's better than okay, but I'm sure there's better out there. So yeah, it's not bad. The onions are cool. I like onions. I like other things too.